Do you get moody a lot? Like temperamental people really piss you off. Don't get moody, shake that booty. No, in all seriousness, I want you to know that no matter what's going on in life, you can control how you react to people because people can piss you off day in and day out, right? On today's episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna break it down and shake it down. I'm gonna give you some quick tips on how you can take and resort that anger that you're getting from people yeah, it's their fault, right? No, we control how we react to it to make everything so much more better because let me tell you something, nobody, and I mean nobody, is worth your time and energy to get mad. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. So I work with clients all the time, whether it's on the phone, Zoom calls, or live. We break down anything from life, wellness, relationships, their business, their fitness, but one of the biggest things uh, that pisses people off is other people, right? And it's controlling that anger, controlling those emotions that just drive us up a wall, right? Let me give you an, an analogy that I learned years ago from a mentor of mine, and now I teach it uh, in different ways with NLP. NLP stands for Neuro Linguistics Programming. Look it up, it's amazing. It just teaches us, teaches you, how to really become a different person so you can actually observe how you're acting and how you're reacting to things and people. Now, say you go to the movie theater, you're with your boyfriend, husband, wife, it doesn't matter, right? And you haven't been to the movies in a couple weeks, but you go often, right? This is just an analogy, an example. And a few seats behind you, here is this guy that is chomping, and I mean chomping away at popcorn and hot dogs and making noise you know, those nasty, annoying noises with the drinks and the straws. <laughs> yeah, you get where I'm going with this. The movie hasn't even started yet. It's just the preview. So you already know you're going to be annoyed. Now, your ego, right? Like I always say, you are not your ego. You're not your brain. Totally different entity. Wants to get up and tell the guy, right? Well, at least I do, right? <laughs> if you're an extrovert New Yorker like myself, dude, the movie has not even started. You need to really relax with this. You're pissing me off, right? That's my ego talking, right? That's the, the New Yorker side that just, whew, this guy's pissing me off, right? Now, what I want you to do, right, is I want you for a quick second, I know this may be hard, especially if this is your first time listening or watching into to the Get Inspired podcast show, and really just take a beat anytime someone pisses you off. Because in this analogy, I want you to just ask yourself, what if this is the first time, right? And this is factual because this situation did happen, right? When this was explained to me, the person behind you has not been to a movie theater in over 10 years. Mind you, you go often, they haven't been in 10 years. Right? Prior to that, they were in a coma and they've been through hell and back. I know not every situation is gonna be like this, but I promise you, and I want you to ask yourself right now, would you act on your ego? Would you be that pissed off person saying, dude, you're pissing me off, shut the F up, right? And I mean that, more than likely not, right? Especially if you have values, especially if you are just, you're a good person, right? So. I'm giving you this analogy to really think outside of the box moving forward. Anytime anyone pisses you off, you can act on ego or you can just go about it a different way, right? So the best option for me and how it was taught to me in this analogy 
that I'm teaching you is go up to the person still, right? Because you're not going to put up with <laughs> the movie being ruined with all these noises. And just say, hey, politely, dude, loving your shirt, loving your shoes. Give him a compliment. By the way, movie's about to start picking up on some noises. I would so appreciate it if you can just be a little bit mindful with that because this movie is going to be bomb diggity. See how I just changed this whole situation around? Mind you, that person may be an angered person. That's a whole nother episode. But more than likely, when you put out that energy, you're going to get a reaction from that person that's not going to be mean for the most part. It's going to be peaceful. You're going to go back to your seat and you're going to be watching your movie having a good time. So I know this may be like, whoa, a shocker for you. But I promise you, whether it's in that situation of that example I gave you or anything or anyone, right? Anyone that's say driving by and cuts you off, don't let people and don't let things get the best out of you and ruin your day where you're in jitters, where you're in anxiety and just pissed off. Why live your day or any, any minute of your life pissed off? It's not worth it. They're not worth it. You're worth it. I hope this episode helped you. Drop me some comments, right? Give me a thumbs up and share it with friends that maybe are experiencing getting moody and getting temperament temperamental way, and I mean way too quickly because it's not worth it, right? Get inspired, stay inspired, and I'll see you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.